Yes, but they're most welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Jackie Knight. You have uh, delivered the speech very good, and you have great done in the name of Muslim. Great job. Uh, I read the Quran from Al Fatiha to Anas. I have finished. Uh, but in terms of uh, Arabic, I still confused. If Allah is a unique name, why in the Quran use the pronoun like in English he? Because in Arabic we know single, dual, and plural like you, as a male gender like huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antuna, and ana, nahnu. Uh, what about in the Holy Quran? Always what's the name? Stated, uh, what's the, what, what's the name? My name is Tony. I'm an engineer by profession. Mashallah, Tony uh, asked a very good question. Let me let me finish my question, sir. Uh, for example, in the Quran, in Surah Ayatul Kursi, Allahu la ilaha illahu al hayyul qayyum la taqhudu sinatu wala nau, and so on and so on until in the last surah is Wahyu al ayliyul adib. There's so many words of huwa, which means male gender. If Allah is a unique name, why Quran always describe as a male gender? Thank you. That's a very good question, brother. Brother asked a very good question. Yeah. That if Allah is a unique name, then why do you say Allah he huwa? Kul huwa Allah wa. Say he Allah wa only. And this question, brother, troubled me for many years. This question you're asking me troubled me for many years until I went to Medina and while I was studying Arabic with Dr. Fab Darahim, he was the head of the Arabic department and I asked this question to many people and none of the answers satisfied me until while learning Arabic I got my own answer and Allah says Fas'alu ahli zikri in Kuntula Talamun. If you don't know, ask the one who's an expert. So when I got this answer, I asked Dr. Fab Darim, that is my answer correct? He said, he said, Mumtaz, excellent. And I'll give you the answer. My answer to this question is that normally in English language, you have three gender: male, female, and neuter. In Arabic, we have two gender: male and female, masculine and feminine. And there are certain rules and regulation for the Arabic grammar to say it is feminine. Number one, if it is feminine by nature, Ummun is feminine, correct? Uktun, Ummun means mother, feminine by nature. Uktun is female. Uktista, by nature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by nature is not feminine. Number two, if it ends in ta, ta, like a saatun, watch. Saatun means watch, watch. it becomes feminine. Mirvahatun, fan, it ends in ta, it becomes feminine. So this is the Arabic grammar. If it ends in ta, it becomes feminine. Then the other rule, if it ends in alif, bara alif, it becomes feminine. Third rule. Fourth rule, if it's pair of a body, ainun become feminine yadun hands become feminine so this is arabic grammar these are rules for being feminine gender by nature ending in the with alif with male now if you put almighty god is not feminine by nature almighty god allah doesn't end in the it doesn't end with kara alif it is not in pair it's kul wallahu ahad say the allah one only so by default because there is no third gender in Arabic and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got no gender. So by default, we say hua. Do you understand? Yes. So by default, we say hua. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nowhere in the Quran does it say he's male or female. I agree is unique. So by default, by the Arabic grammar, it doesn't come under feminine. We put kul hu Allah had. Say he's Allah one and only. Do you understand? Allahu la ilaha illallah. Again, who? So this is by default. 
but nowhere ever will you find that Allah is masculine in gender. This is by default because of the Arabic language. It is not feminine. It becomes masculine. That is the reason we use the word hua. Hope that answers the question, brother. Can I ask one more question, sir? One more question. One more question. Uh, okay. Other talk, uh, other related to uh, the dietary restriction. You mentioned in Leviticus um, 11 verses 7 and 8 that we, a Christian, uh, prohibited to eat pork. So if you look at the previous uh, verses, it's also prohibited also camel, hyrax, and rabbit. So if you believe or if we must not eat pork, so you have to believe in this previous verse. You, you, don't, you, you must not eat it. camel, hyrax, and rabbit. Is that correct, sir? Brother, ask the question that I quoted, Book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. Correct. Where it says pork is prohibited. Before that, it says camel is prohibited. Yes. And even rabbit is prohibited. Hyrax and rabbit. Correct. So is it true? For those people who believe that Bible is the word of God, yes. For me, I believe Quran is the word of God. And nowhere does the Quran say that camel is prohibited or hair is prohibited. Hair is prohibited. You understand? Yes. Bible only says pork is prohibited. If you believe in the Bible, and if you believe everything of the Bible is correct, yes, you have to follow it. What I'm doing, I'm talking about the similarities, whether camel is right or wrong. Bible says pork is prohibited, Quran says pork is prohibited. Let us both agree not to have pork, correct? Yes. Now, Bible says camel is prohibited, but the Quran says camel is allowed. So what is difference we'll discuss tomorrow, correct? If you are a Christian, you'll have to follow. I'm not, a, I'm not following in the Bible. I don't believe Bible to be the word of God. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Yes, I I'm, believe the Quran to be the word of God. Yes, I'm a Christian. I do not eat pork. Yes, I was circumcised. Mashallah. And I, I don't drink alcohol and I'm not a smoker. Mashallah, very good. <laughs> But Brother, do you believe Jesus is God? Or do you believe yes, Jesus I is messenger of God? Yes, I still believe in God because it many... Uh, so do you believe Jesus is God or do yes, you believe I, messenger I still believe he is God because in the exercise system, I just put my hand, cast out the evil spirit on someone person and the name of Jesus, the evil spirit out from this person, the exorcism. I believe. You said just because you stretch your hand and you take the name of Jesus, the evil spirit is out, correct? Yes, correct, because the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 13, verse number 13, For there shall be many false Christ and false prophet who will do wonders and miracles in my yeah. name. Understand. Did he say that? False yeah. Christ and false prophet can do. So miracle is not the test. Putting out your hand and taking out evil spirit is not the test. If that's the case, you should go to a hospital and put your hand and treat, the, treat all the patients of cancer. You know the Christian missionaries, they come and do healing session. I said, why and come healing? Why are you doing healing in the, in the open ground? Go and do healing in the hospital. Correct? Yeah. But that's so Jesus all this is nothing but fake. If you can really heal, you go in the hospital, you'll get ready-made customers. Why do you require a heart specialist? Why do you require doctors? Go and do healing session, yeah. all, the, all the patients would be healed. So yes, brother, I, still believe, I still believe Jesus is called because I know, uh, I'm the Alpha I, and the Omega I, and the So did you hear my lecture here. or not? Is there any unequivocal statement anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or worship me? What about the Philippus say that Jesus, show me the Father and Jesus say, how can, how come I, sh I um, how can you uh, ask me, show me the Father? I've been long time with you. You don't understand the Father. Where is this? I think it's... Uh, I forget. It's, uh, Gospel of John. Yeah, chapter Gospel number 14. John. Correct. 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 Verse number 9. This was already asked by another girl earlier. If you read the context, Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 1, Jesus Christ, peace be upon said, If your heart is troubled, if you have faith in Almighty God, have faith in me also. For I am going to Almighty God. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it was not so, I wouldn't have told you so. I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go you, I will call you. And you know the way I go. 
so then philip says i don't know where you go then he says i am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the father but through me that means he's a messenger every messenger at his time he was the way the truth and the life no man comes to the father but through him then he said now you know the way yeah then no we don't know the way show us the way then he says that now you have seen him and you know him then he says he that has seen me has seen the father gospel of john chapter 14 verse number 9 he that has seen me has seen the father seeing is knowing so if you know jesus you know the father the work that i do they bear record of my father see the context it doesn't mean he's god it means he's the messenger of god but do you understand yeah i understand but uh for my last words um I still learn Islam by learn Islam? not by not by seeing the Muslim. Don't look at the Muslim. I look at the Quran and the Hadith. You I don't care about Muslim because many Muslim in the traffic light in every their I house. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. There's a good. Uh, they, I request they, they you thing. to. I request you to hear my video cassettes. Yeah. Hear, uh, my, hear my video cassettes. Uh, I have downloaded many from YouTube. Yes, you see that. And inshallah, this will answer many of your queries. And yes, once you're convinced that Jesus is the messenger and not God, inshallah, I want you to come closer to Islam, inshallah. But today, let me, let me still believe that he has got the Holy Spirit, the peaceful in if my life. If you see my video cassettes, all life. your questions yeah. will be answered, inshallah. Right, thank you. And I pray thank to Almighty God to give you guidance so that you find the true God, inshallah. Yeah, thank you, Father Naik. Can we have Naik. the next question?